Okay, hi you guys. Okay, so I'm on this new camera that is not the one that I ordered. I went and picked this one up from a different store. So it's not going to be the best quality. This is going to be my vlogging camera, but I'm using it temporarily until my good camera comes. So if you hear some weird clicking noises, that's the camera. Okay. Um, so I can't move around a lot, so I can kind of be stiff like a robot because the camera goes in and out of focus and makes weird stuff happen because I've already tested it. <laughs> So, I'm just going to be very still today until my good camera gets here. So, what we're going to be talking about and um, today is another YouTuber because I've been watching her for a while, Trisha Paytas. You guys probably know her. She's a very famous YouTuber and she's always, um, you know, putting her personal life out there online. She's blonde. Um. If y'all know who she is, um, y'all go check her out. She has like millions of subscribers. But um, recently she just broke up with her boyfriend because she, uh, someone Snapchatted her and, you know, he was cheating on her uh, and he was gay. Okay, so that's what she said. And, you know, someone saw him kissing another man and, you know, has Snapchat footage of him in a gay club and blah, 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 blah. So she's kind of really distraught and she made a bunch of videos crying and, you know, being upset at him. And now he's suing her. And so now she's like really pissed off and she says she's very numb. Now, once someone hurts you like that to a degree and you feel like you've been used and you've given all you can give and you feel like, you know, um, you know, I really was in love and I got got because I was too nice. And I got, I got taken advantage of. I got played. Okay. Once you get to this point, you are now ready to, you know, make yourself the priority. And instead of putting all of your hopes and dreams and, you know, you know your happiness into one person, you start to put them in yourself because now you realize no one can make you happy but yourself. Only thing is, men are an added bonus to add unto you. If they can't add to you, or benefit you in any way, or do things for you that you can't do for yourself, then you're being used, okay? You're being taken advantage of. You're being drained, okay? So, we all know she has money, and, you know, probably way more than him. And uh, he was using her to get views on his channel and for his music or whatever. And all the time he was gay. Like, whenever the holidays would roll around, he would go home and take his friend instead of her. And as we know, it is the holiday season. And this is when you find out who you are in the relationship or your position in this person's life. Um, so... If you're not being invited to Christmas dinner, if you weren't invited to Thanksgiving, if you haven't met the family yet after you've been dating for a while, as you think seriously, chances are you're probably not the person that they want to, you know, spend their life with because they have not introduced you yet. So, um, understand and don't try to push things. Just understand your place and, you know, understand that if you're not putting yourself first, neither will anyone else. You know what I mean? Now, being too needy, that's another one of the things that I think she can work on, being too needy. Um, when you get an, into a relationship, of course you want your man to do all these things for you, but sometimes they just can't. You know, sometimes you're, you're needing them too much. Sometimes it's an emotional drain, and um, it becomes more of a drag than, you know, an emotional bond. So when you're trying to emotionally bond with someone, you don't spill out all your problems and secrets and desires. If you are a mystery to someone, they don't get tired of you, okay, because they don't even know who you are yet, okay? If you tell everything to someone within the first week of knowing them, you know, they're basically like, they know everything about you, so why, you know, there's nothing left to get to know. You've done everything, you've told them everything, now it's like, you know, I'm bored of you. Um, mystery keeps people intrigued. So I know I noticed another thing with her. Um, she tends to tell too much. 
she tends to do a lot of things that I always say are not good for relationships. She tends to be too needy, um, to tell too much, to chase men, to go for guys that are out of her league. And I'm not saying he was out of her league. I'm just saying guys that she's going to have to chase, obviously, who won't, who would never chase her. You know what I mean? So um, my suggestion to her would be to scale it down a bit. Find someone who's going to chase you, you know. Uh, of course, you know, living in L.A., there's lots of rich guys out there who would chase you, but they might not be famous and they might not look like your ex, but they're probably straight and they're probably appreciative of someone like you. You know, you can't always have the entire fairy tale come true. Some things you're going to have to sacrifice on, okay? Um, even the most famous, most beautiful women in the world get cheated on. So it's not anything about your looks. It's about how you act and how you present yourself and how you treat yourself. How you treat yourself is how a man is going to treat you. If you're, you know, um, always criticizing yourself, if you're always putting yourself second and caring more about others than you do yourself, that's how you're going to be treated. So, ladies, y'all can take a lesson from this. Treat yourself the best. Put you first. You know, if, if they haven't texted you or called you today, don't call them, okay? Don't respond back as soon as someone texts you. That's too desperate. You know, make them wonder about you. Make their thoughts with you. You know what I mean? If, if, you, if they always, always know what you're doing, where you're at, what time you're going to call, what you're wearing that day, if they know too much about you, you're no longer attractive to them because they it's like you're a family member now. They know too much about you. They're bored. They're probably sick of you. So the more mystery, the better. I keep telling women this. The more mystery, the better. Okay? Um, and when you have emotional problems, don't run to your man to dump on, on him. Go to a friend. That's what they're for. Go to a girlfriend. Go to some strangers. You know, uh, go to a reader. <laughs> you know, a lot of people have personal readers uh, or a therapist or something. Go to them. That's what they're for. That's what you pay them for. Okay? Um, so a lot of times relationships with, will end with someone too needy like that. So if you're a needy person, go to someone else. Don't go to your man for that. Okay? That's not what they're for. Of course, if something bad happens and it's devastating and they ask to be there for you and they say, I want to be there for you, then fine. But don't just go with every single issue, problem, minute, detail type thing. What do you think about this? What do you think about that? They don't care. Men are not like that, okay? They don't care about little small things like, oh, what color uh, do you think I should, you know, wear on my nails today? They don't care about that. You know, oh, what dress do you think I should wear next Friday when we go out? They don't care about that. Stop bugging people. Uh, stop always asking them for their opinion. This is your life. Do what you want. If they like it, great. If they don't, oh well. It's all about you. Okay? If women would take on this attitude, they would be a lot happier and men would still be chasing them. Okay? Um, most of the time, it's mental. It's not physical. Okay? Because it's not physical. It's a mental game. It is a mental game. I'm, I'm, I'm not even lying. You can you can have all this plastic surgery and you can have all this stuff done, but a man will never treat you any different if you don't love yourself. Okay. So I hope she sees this message. I hope it's helpful for her. And I do like her channel. I watch her. I've been watching her for years, years and years and years. Um, I like the fact. Like I think I started watching her. Uh, like in 2009 and I think it's because she's like always doing Michael Jackson you know she's always talking about Michael Jackson I was like really into Michael Jackson I still am you know a lot but like in 2009 that was like the year he left and so there's lots of videos on and I just started I mean I was subscribed to her but um yes women who are too needy and tell everything always end up alone okay Women who are a little bit, you know, less needy, um, and I'm not talking about money, I'm talking about emotionally needy, you know, 
uh, women who are less emotionally needy and who are more mysterious and who put themselves first instead of other people and everybody else and you know who speak words that they want to actually see manifest in their life you know those women are more happy because she's always saying oh I just want to be loved I just want to be loved you're manifesting to just want to be loved instead of being loved you know wanting is different from being understand wanting means you will always want being is that you are so if she changed her words around and changed how she viewed herself and changed the type of um, attitude she had when it comes to men as far as being uh, too emotional emotionally needy she could have a good decent relationship you know but Sometimes you don't learn this until you've been through it like many, many, many times. It takes two, it takes a lot to slap someone in the face, to make them realize, to put the focus on themselves instead of other people. The, you know, the man is supposed to win the woman over. It's not the other way around. You're not supposed to win him. He's supposed to win you. And that's why it's off balance because... You actually took on the male role. So uh, sit back, be a girl in every way, not just as far as looks. Be a girl and letting the man chase. Be a girl and letting the man uh, wonder about you. Be a girl and putting yourself first above anyone else's needs. And let them come to you for a change. You know what I'm saying? If it's not the type of people you want and whatever, and you're unhappy about the results you're getting, you know, after making that change, then your expectations were unrealistic in the first place. You know what I'm saying? So I know it's, it's easy to get caught up when you live in like Hollywood and California and stuff like that. Um, you know, but sometimes you need to settle and be down to earth and see what comes because it could be something so much better, you know. You can't always have the, the glam, Hollywood, perfect picture, perfect specimen of a, a partner and have everything you want in life. That's not how it works. Okay? You're going to have to, you know, be realistic. And I think it would be much happier if a man was actually chasing you. Uh, and I'm talking to all women who are in a situation like this, not just her, you know. I'm just using her as, as an example because I've been watching her videos lately. So, yeah, put yourself first and you'll never lose, okay? That's my, that is my motto. Put yourself first and you will never lose, okay? Think about it. If that's what the men are doing, they're putting themselves first and they're not the ones losing, okay? So I'll see y'all later.